Having already upset the odds in this season's Champions League, Villarreal will seek another memorable European scalp when Bayern Munich pay a visit to the Estadio de los Ramica for the first leg of their quarter-final tie on Wednesday night. Unai Emery's men produced a phenomenal showing against Juventus to book their spot in the last eight, while the Bavarians ultimately ran out comfortable winners over Red Bull Salzburg. Villarreal were up against it after a matter of seconds in their last 16 encounter with Juventus, with Dusan Vlahovic taking no time at all to settle into life in the Champions League before the yellow submarine sank the old lady from there on in, after recovering to draw the first leg 1-1. Villarreal traveled to Turin in more hope than expectation but humbled the Italian giants on their alley in stadium turf, as Gerard Moreno, Pau Torres and Arnaud Danjima all found the target within the last 20 minutes. Now rewarded with a tie against even more daunting opposition in Bayern Munich, Villarreal have failed to keep the momentum going following their historic night in Turin, following up the 1-0 loss to Cadiz with an equally dismal 2-0 defeat to Levant at the weekend, with their La Liga fortunes taking a turn for the worse in the past few weeks, their top six destiny is now out of their own hands as they continue as underdogs in the Champions League, where they have been knocked out in the quarter-finals once before to Arsenal in 2008-9. As disappointing as their recent run on the road has been, Barring the 3-0 win at Juve, Villarreal enter Wednesday's first leg having strung together a nine-game unbeaten streak on home soil, with Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid also failing to get the better of them at this Ramica in that streak, failure to put the tie to bed in the first leg against an incredibly youthful Salzburg outfit did lead to one or two raised eyebrows, but Bayern soon restored order with a traditional Bavarian thumping on their own turf to ease into the next round. On a day where Manchester United scouts were supposedly watching him in action, Salzburg goalkeeper Philipp Kahn let in seven goals to Julian Nagelsmann's side, with Robert Lewandowski taking just 23 minutes to bag another hat-trick on the night. Bayern's customary Bundesliga title is certainly not in the bag just yet, but the reigning champions ensured that they remained out of sight of Borussia Dortmund by thrashing Freiburg 4-1 at the weekend as they seek to avoid a second successive quarter-final exit in the Champions League, going eight games unbeaten in all competitions is a surefire way to boost the morale in the squad, not that Bayern normally need it, and not since September 2017 have the German giants suffered defeat away from home in the Champions League. Bayern and Villarreal met for the very first time in the group stage of the 2011-12 Champions League, with the Bundesliga champions securing a 2-0 win away from home before a 3-1 success in Bavaria en route to collecting their runners-up medals. Villarreal continued to cope without long-term absentee Alberto Moreno due to his ruptured cruciate ligament, while Boulay Dia and Samuel Chucks are both fitness doubts for the first leg. Dia was left out of the squad to take on Levin due to muscular discomfort while Chucks is nursing an inductor problem sustained during the international break. So the stage is set for Arnaud Danjima and Gerard Moreno to lead the line here. The manner of Villarreal's loss to Levant could tempt Emery into making a change or two here. Especially with Serge Aurier and Brevis Estupin in both starting in the 3-0 success at Juventus. Meanwhile, Bayern lost midfielder Kaur Enting Talizo to injury just 23 minutes after the Frenchman came on as a substitute against Freiburg, and he is reportedly set for several weeks on the sidelines with a torn thigh muscle. Eric Maxim Choupo-Moting is COVID positive but is nursing a knee injury anyway, while Alfonso Davis has announced that he intends to make his comeback from myocarditis in the weekend's meeting with Augsburg. Don Nianzu was given the nod against Freiburg but the experience of Nicholas Seal may be preferred at the back this week, while Nagelsmann will likely be forced to leave one of Serge Nabry, Leroy Sane and Kingsley Komen on the bench.